Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. We're gonna tackle day four right quick. There's not a whole lot to do, we just need to nab all the respawning loot in the city sections we've already been to, on our way over to the docks and the sunken citadel, so let's get started. From day On day four, you start off in the Keeper Library rather than in Garrett's apartment, so we're gonna clear the library first. Might as well start with the Forbidden Library, since we're right here at the entrance. There's nothing in here that we need to read, because we've already read all of it. So I'll just show you which pieces of loot respawn every day. This rare book respawns every day. Elder Blake. Keeper Logan. Greetings, Elder. I would talk with you a minute in private. We are quite alone. Proceed. The research you requested, it has been completed. And? There are references to the last of all glyphs. And you were right. Only the ah. one can activate it. The one true keeper? That is good. A single person is easier to stop than several, or an unlimited number. Yes, but there is more. The books say that the original Keepers devised the final glyph as a safeguard against Keeper corruption. In the readings, this seems synonymous with the Dark Age. What could it mean? Keeper Logan, even you should know that the prophecies can sometimes be wrong. In the case of Keeper corruption, it is, of course, unthinkable. Of course. Unless... It is unthinkable, Keeper Logan. You must remember that. Especially if there are dark days to come. Of course. In all things, Elder Blake, may you have balance. And you. My hey! I, knew I should tell the others about I this. Knew I would... I forgot about this conversation, actually. I was thinking I could just blitz, blitz right through here, no trouble at all, so... I'm thinking speed might be my best option here. There are references to the last of all glyphs. And you were right. Only the one can activate it. The one true Zelda. keeper? That is good. A single person is easier to stop than several, or an unlimited number. Yes, but there is... More. The books say that the original Keepers devised the final glyph as a safeguard against Keeper corruption. In the readings, something has gone awry. I thought I'd be able to drop it without alerting them, but now, of course, we're going to hit the glitch where it floats, and that's fine with me. Yes, but there is more. The books say that the original Keepers devised the final glyph as a safeguard against Keeper corruption. In the readings, this seems synonymous with the Dark Age. What could it mean? Keeper Logan, even you should know that the prophecies can sometimes be wrong. In the case of Keeper corruption, it is of course unthinkable. Of course. Unless. It is unthinkable. Keeper Logan, you must remember that, especially if there are dark days to come. Of course. In all things, Elder Blake, may you have balance. And you. The Keeper is seldom the victim of a pickpocket. So, his, his purse respawns every day, so we need to lift it off of him. Nothing else on the second floor that's respawned, so we can head right up to the third floor now. The scribe is gone, which makes this much easier. The rare book up here on this desk does respawn every day, so I'll nab that. Oh, 
All goodies on the third floor respawn in, in the room past the balcony. Now there you see Gamal, the translator. If she creeps you the hell out, well, as far as I'm concerned, she should because she's creepy. Extremely so. So if you wall flatten right here, I think that she can wander back past us without any alerts. If only we knew what we will know later. I'd put a dagger in her throat right now. Although I don't think that would help anything. So when you get in here, the gold goblet and the rare book both respawn. And in the secret room, the gold goblet also respawns. So that's it for the forbidden library. We can make our way back out now. Same basic way we made our way in. Can wall flatten in here. Let Gamal go by. Get past all these folks. Well, I say all these, there's one. One guard walking back and forth on that bridge with a long pause at each end. Back down to the second floor. Uh, Keeper Logan takes up a position right there, standing looking down, so. I think it's I do not trust him. I think it's probably easiest for us to go behind him, actually. If we can avoid getting lit up by the torch. Get down these stairs. Over where they were talking. There's the elder. She walks first keeper Orland this, first keeper Orland that. She walks a As very short route up and down these stairs, so I'm just gonna have to follow her and use her turn to get around her, I think. But I think she spins to the right. No. Saw something. Nope, she turned left. Of course, since she takes a couple of steps into the bookcase, or the book stand, I suspect her... I suspect her troll point is actually a little bit beyond it. Oh, but see, she turned right that time, so... It's not... As it is written, excuse me, I was lost in thought. Anyway, let's just try going faster. Bye. So there's no one here on the very ground level, so we can just bust it on out. Now, of course, we're in the section we're allowed to be in, which is always nice. Makes things easier. Don't forget to nab the copper ring off this table. It respawns. The of reproach. I did not expect it recovered. Not in my lifetime. It should be delivered to Kaduka immediately. For study. Yes, most unfortunate. Still, I cannot help but admire his accomplishment. Recovering it could not have been easy. But the timing could not have been worse. The Council should discuss it. Agreed. How can it be a bad it thing to have the to lose my wand? Perhaps it fell without my knowledge. How can it be a bad thing to have the compendium back? I think these keepers are idiots. I can see why Garrett left them. 
See, I don't think there's anything else to do anywhere in here. Because we still can't get into Orland's office. And that really is it as far as library loot and goodies to find are concerned, so... I'll head back down to the first level. And head out to Stone Market, and I'll see you there. Stone Market Plaza, I should say. Oh yes, one more wand to pickpocket. Let's go ahead and do it. My wand... is it possible I left it in my quarters? Hello, Garrett. Hmm. There's Artemis. I like that guy. Stone Market Plaza. There's no backtracking this time, which is nice. We can access all the areas we need to access, and in fact, I think that's the case from now on. So, in my playthrough, you'll still see Rust Mites and Cornerstones, since I didn't shoot them, but if you are eliminating them and you're following along, you should have taken all of them out in day three when I pointed them out to you, so I'm not going to repeat that. Anyway, you get out to the streets. First thing to do is grab that moss arrow. Since we're starting at the opposite end of where we usually do. Sneak through Tursus Courtyard behind the Watchmen because I don't think those Hammerites are still there. I could be wrong though. But I don't think so. Nope, no Hammerites. That's good. Let's get this gas arrow. As we've done so many times. Now, it's time once again for Mr. For Brent's purse. purse. Well then. Nab the moss arrow at the bottom of his stairs. And open his chest like I have before. <clears throat> and make my way out here. Keep my eye out for the city watchman and head for the crates as I have the opportunity. He goes, here I go. <laughs> There's Brent, no changes there. How many times do I have to? Seems like avoiding that yellow alert is just a matter of waiting long enough, as near as I can tell before we step forward into his apartment. So let's try again. I thought I felt a draft. Crud. Still didn't wait long enough, it seems. I think we're good now. So, creep up as far as you can and kind of have to find the right balance between uh, to angle past the chair and stay far enough out of his field of view for as long as we can. Anyway, I think, I think this is good. Let's try it. Barracks! The watch will protect my business from you! Nope. 
suspect I was too close to him that time. Anyway, this is the second to last time we have to do this, because I guess he dies in the accident or something, but Brent disappears after we destroy the clock tower, so, you know, rest in peace, but I'm glad you're out of my way. What's doing that? There we go, just a green alert. Oh well. That's what you want. Let's get the purse now. My eyes. <laughs> Damn. What's that all? I tried to go too fast because you do light up when you're moving, so you have to you have to move stepwise. I mean, you can get to the purse in one go, but what you can't do is take two steps. What's thinking doing? <laughs> Thought I saw something just for a second. I think he yellow alerted. Yep. I can be patient. I can go a little more gradually. No problem. No problem. Did I see something in there? Well, I shouldn't worry so. My eyes... That was odd. Well, damn. I haven't had trouble going stepwise before. Oh well. My eyes going? Well, I shouldn't worry so. It's absurd that I can't reach it from this position. But I can't. I have gotten closer to it though, so... That's good. Got it. Let's close it up now. I thought I felt a draft. Oh, are you kidding me? Why would a yellow alert now? I better move away quickly. Well, I shouldn't worry so. All right, if, well, if he's going to yellow alert to me closing it, I can close it from outside his window, but... How many times do I have to tell them to shut this? Oh, I guess that's why I'm the boss. It and is shut. Stu well, see, that's what I'm talking about. Now the, the game has reconfigured his parameters for what's normal, so... No big deal. I can head back up to the outside window after making my escape and shut it from there. So, let's roll. What's that? Bye. bye No. Nope. Quiet night after all. Thanks for the purse, douche. I'm gonna real save now that I'm in a safe spot and that's done just cause that purse is always a pain in the ass. Only one... Only one more attempt left to get go, though. Which is good news. Make no mistake. So last, even though we took the four green alerts going in and out, we will... Too many stars. Uh-oh. Getting dizzy. Nice. Roll up here and close it. If we do so from outside, he'll never react. So, done and done. Still not done in Stone Market Plaza. Couple of little things left to do. If you open the secret keeper cell, there is one silver coin inside that respawns and is there every day. That's another 50. I'm gonna wait until I spot the watchman over here now. He must be off to the south. Quiet night? Which means I'm 
in perfect position to get in behind them. Clear the tavern on my way over to Stone Market proper. Up right left, same as before. Same as always. Wonder which layout I'm gonna get this time. The stationary guy with a wine bottle on the shelf is a lot easier, so let's hope for that. Looks like I got it. Well, I haven't seen this configuration of wine bottles before. I think we should still be A-OK -okay to grab them without dealing with the junk bottle. And we got a stationary guard. It then. So it is. Which is always easier. Get the two copper coins off the table. Wait for homeboy to turn his back again. Get in behind the bar. Just like so. <laughs> We're safe now. The bar is hard cover. Grab the two valuable bottles, and then I kind of need to watch the tip of his bow. When it swings to the left, it's safe to move. Just like that. Bam. That might have been the smoothest run through the tavern yet. No trouble at all. One last thing we still need to get. Just creeping over towards Stone Market proper. Watch for the watchman. The way, there he is. Grab the moss arrow from under that tree. And we're good. Into proper. And I'll give that a real save. It's always always good to get an area cleared, you know? So the Hammerites still hate us, they'll hate us the entire game, so if we see them, we need to avoid them. Just keep that in mind. Let's read the crime report from yesterday, and hope it doesn't crash my game again. City Watch Crime Report, District of Stone Market. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Stone Market. Zero citizens were murdered, zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, eight items of valuable property were reported stolen, three locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. So let's tackle the watch station. Two broadheads and a silver coin. As always, he'll yellow alert when the coin goes missing. Someone's made off with it. We'll wait for that to settle down. Who'd be creeping around at this hour anyway? We'll move out behind him. Whew, long shift. Count the <clears throat> minutes. Wait for him to move back up the street, and I'll grab the three gold coins out of the St. Edgar's donation box. Give him a little more space since he seems inclined to head back there first. See you later. Alright, I think he's heading all the way back up now. So, three gold coins, 75 each. Move down the alley, get the fire arrow out of the torch. Get the water arrow from the pipe above the fence. Nothing happens on my beat for a month. Then three in a week. 
Mantle over the barrel, like like usual. Creep down onto the Even small option. one, then onto the sidewalk. Head through the bush. Get the moss arrow. I'll wait for him to move away. Because he'll green alert, whether I go through the balcony door or the ground level door, I'm going to take the one on ground level. It's just simpler for me. Though I thought he was headed back down the street, but not yet. It's useful to know. There we go. Now I should be able to creep up into the stonecutter's house. So here comes a green alert. I'll have to wait for it to settle before we close the door. In the meantime, we can go ahead and clear the stonecutter's house. Same three pieces of loot as always. Copper ring on the end table. I think we should be good to close this now. Okay. Very good. And ruby and silver coins on the main table. Now hopefully we can open this with no alerts and get out in similar fashion. There are two hammers out here now. We need to get the moss arrow out of the tree. How dost thou be? How dost thou be? <laughs> oh, they sound like buffoons, but it's fun. We need to get the gas arrow above that light, which looks like it might be easier than it has any right to be. Okay, nope, he's he's being retarded. Alright, let's try it now. Perfect. We got that, now we need to get the moss arrow out of that tree over there. And we need to clear... Go with thee, brother. And we need to clear Cofferin's armory. See, right now, these are the only two Hammerites in the entire map. Having them be my buddies just doesn't seem to matter much. So, got the moss arrow out of the tree. Let's try and get in and out of here without any hassles. So we got two broadhead arrows. Up right left on the lock. Gets us the silver coins out of the safe. And that's everything for Stone Market Blessed proper. My builder, that I mayst do the work. Builder grant the Hello. blessings. Now we just need to get back to the load zone. And the scales didst fall away from his eyes, and didst he cry out that he has seen the light. And he took he a hammer, and struck he about him. So, I think they will green alert if they're close enough, so let's just let him build up a little distance before we move back in here. Now the city watchman will, of course, green alert again. Almost like a... Huh. It's not the first time we've jumped at nothing, right? And won't be the something rustling. All right, we're. I'm not gonna bother visiting the uh, stone market fence because we have to pass through South Quarter, and Heartless Perry is also a metal and gems fence. So just busted into Plaza, and all we're doing here is making our run into South Quarter. Mm, 
What's with the hood? Probably unemployed. <laughs> I've heard what's with the hood. I haven't heard probably unemployed before. I like that. Oh, make our way to South Quarter. No changes here. We're back to business as usual because nothing in the secret attic respawns, so there's no need to head back up there. You only need to visit it once. I will do a real save, just cause. It's another district cleared. Now, since we're starting here, I will begin by nabbing the gas arrow. of a house by counting the grains of sawdust made whilst building it. Okay, we got a hammerite here, so we'll have to avoid him as well as this watchman. Hello, how are you then? Oh, the hammerite's going into the watch station. That's interesting. Well, I haven't had patrollers out here before, so this is a little more interesting because this area is pretty brightly lit. Was that moving? Oh, there's the watchman. I was more worried about the hammerite because I wanted to head through there and get the broadheads on my way to the little crawl space. So I need to move a little faster and see if maybe I can do that. Uh oh. Come on, close it up. By the... Who's there? Uh-huh. 